Oh, yeah, all, right. all right, there you guys are good. You guys are good. All, right, it's all good. Hi, everybody. We... Hey, all right, we got yeah. thrown right into it. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. So, I mean, before all introductions are going, here we go. Game number one, we got PK Chris versus Sharp running it off on PS2. This is, I'm actually pretty excited we got this one because I saw this lingering in Losers there. And right. I always love watching Sharp, who is currently on Chic Week. For people who do not know, this is an entire week. Sharp met a goal where he's forced to play Sheik, and he brought it back here to the qualifier for top eight. Hey, right now, you can almost see that um, Sharp's trying to hold on to the hope of keeping uh, Sheik, Sheik Week alive. Nice, yep. nice uh, down keep grab that, there by PK Chris. Yeah, keep that pressure up. One of the people you definitely don't want to run into to try and do that is PK Chris. PK Chris is always a consistent performer every week. However, the eating alive, the back air. Yeah, just follow that all the way off that. I don't believe the jump. Actually, the jump oh. was taken. That was a clean edge guard. I'm feeling this already. So what happened there quite with the, the upbeat of PK Thunder, but... I think it, the big thing was Sharp followed him all the way off stage and sniped out the jump for PK Chris, so put him into a position where he's pretty much forced to just accept it. Like, he, oh, parry to up tilt, though. That, that's them wipe, but how are you parrying off of ledge reaction into up tilt? I'm not used to seeing Ness's up tilt kill, but it is chic and that was a higher percentage, so. I love how Sharp escaped the shield pressure there to get a down tilt out and just mm -hmm. force PK Chris off them. He's so smart about those kinds of things. Yeah, that's one of those things you'll see out of Sharp all the time. You're just sitting there trying to play the game, have some fun. And oh, no, that bad sucks. air dodge. That, that, that's, that, that just sucks. Well, you, get the, you get the tech in, might have maybe did it again, thinking he missed the window or tried to jump air dodge past Sharp. But, I mean, if you're Sharp, it's like, all right, thank you very much. You better watch yourself, though. Get away from the ledge. And still Sharp able to recover. Both of them just try, they're literally just putting out object coverage right now. Just throwing out a bunch of hits, just trying to anticipate somebody yeah. coming in. And, and that's pretty much what you have to do against a fast character like Sheik. Because if you're Ness, getting airborne directly in front of Sheik is really hard. So you want to just put, you want to put those hitboxes out there, cover that. And you can already tell Sharp understands that unique thing PK Chris is really good at. He uses PK Flash on his way back up to just kind of stop somebody from edge guarding him. The other thing that's really key right now for Sharp is that he's abusing the mid range, especially with this, this lead. Yep. So PK Chris has to hard commit. And uh, Sharp basically has his number in terms of escaping a lot of PK Chris's combo starters. Yeah, especially after dropping that stock too. This is pretty much a spot where she can afford to trade. So you just go up, you keep putting in quick kickboxes, and then she is so fast, she just can kind of dip. Good. Oh, that was almost a good call. Had the roll like covered with the up smash, just a little bit quicker on the trigger with Sharp. That's that speed you were talking about, Ajax. Yep. I tell you, man, the, the fact that they do this so consistently, like, and, and sometimes you just know too. Like Sharp is somebody who understands that ledge scenario. Like, okay, down smash or up smash are dangerous. Speaking of which, it's gonna take you out from jumping off the ledge. Yeah. All right, how you feeling? How you feeling about the chances? Feeling good? I, I, this is, this is Ness. Ness has done crazier things than a 92% deficit. Well, I mean, the main thing is I actually really like how Chris is still consistent. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> crazier things than a 92% deficit because you die at 46. So great job from Sharp all the way until the point that he decided to jump above PK Chris. <laughs> My next two words were jump call out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, jump! I almost jumped out my seat. Like, literally, fell backwards. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That wow. was great. What a, what a comeback by PK Chris to take that game one. Man, this... Ajax, they throw us right into the fire for that one. I, I love it. I love it. like it's just it's just one of those. Oh. Uh, it's just, it's a that's a vibe check and it's yeah. Like, and Sharp's it's like, like, no, 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 bro. I'm gonna shake that one off. <laughs> let's let, let you, let's throw it one more time. <laughs> yeah, you just all you gotta do you put that in your back pocket because you look at that match right. It's like okay. Yeah. PK Chris SD'd, so that could have been much closer. And it does suck you ended up dropping that game at that point, but that game in general was very, very close. Yeah, just throw it out, be done with it, go into this next one. And the way Sharp played in that first game, especially with the edge guard play, it's, it's still super stressful for PK Chris. Starting things off just a little bit slow here in game two. He's done it a couple times. He's been using forward smash just kind of like a jump check. Like I, you, you put pressure out. Sheik's going to continue to do that. She's got that frame data. So what do you do? Put out a hard punish if you decide to approach. And they said I don't dislike this from PK Chris. Ah, oh, he's starting to get caught pressing buttons here. 
that that's just that's just the frame data fight like you're sitting there trying to put out those aerials try and get yourself doing something and then sharp now is playing that fundamental game strong it's like let me just throw out needles use my quick frame data find those openings fast now i got you at ledge this is where i can get my work done oh, that, i love that beautiful low lane back here they just nailed pk chris with the side guard and chris get back to stage nice use the magnet stall but still sharp holding stage and you know what that was all really smart on sharp too he actually waited realizing oh. that he didn't have a guaranteed punish drag down is not gonna do it you better oh he was looking for a spot dodge right there he was trying to cover that with the forward smash it gets st stuffed out that just scared the crap out of me i didn't know if that would actually two frame or not right. i also love that chris immediately followed it up right. with like a full hop back air just attach sharp trying to jump out of uh panic uh oh this is bad yeah, he's got enough room. That that's oh, he texts it. So, okay, so we see what he was trying to do last time. Tech and then yeah. air dodge immediately to ledge. He just went by it. All right, so that okay, so that puts some validity behind the accidental air dodge before. Chris thought he had the read there to go for the up smash. It just wasn't quite there. Oh, oh no! Bad Doesn't get the wall bounce. The Thunder, yeah, yeah. Trying to look for that wall bounce to get back, and it, yeah, if you're sharp. Just respect that invincibility right there. If he wants to come down swing and just let him do it. Chris got caught. I've been trying to corner sharp, and sharp now is the advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really like how he's going. Well, in terms of Chris, like the way you're watching him go down with this, and he he has been behind in the leads. He was able to snipe that early victory before. Before he was doing all this option coverage. What are you seeing now that you like that he's trying to change up to like adjust to Sheik right now? Well, earlier on, it was just trying to play a slower pace to make it so that Sharp had to hard commit more. Mm -hmm. Now it's most of the PK fire usage, but it is definitely like one of those live by the sword, die by the swords kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh oh, <laughs> Sharp! Oh, that he was frames off of that bouncing fish, just nailing Chris. And oh. it's so fright. All right, he's done that a few times now, and Sharp has caught onto it. He realizes he's just trying to catch him jumping in to put pressure on. Hey, Jeff, just did you see that underneath. parry? <laughs> he just parried the up smash to grab him. My God. Yeah, that, that, just lives in a different world man oh the up tilt misses gets covered on the roll 115 percent though it is chic so chic's not going to necessarily ko in center stage easy but if you don't get your jump called right the jump is expended he's gonna force uh -oh. to have to go straight to ledge and actually gets left alone that's a bad air dodge doesn't get covered oh i can't believe that f smash missed oh my god sharp this is patience on another level man yeah, and this is and this is to get into top eight as well. Oh, oh no, no wall bounce off of it again. So that's another stock loss, and currently behind a whole stock, zero percent on check. And the, yeah. like the the psychic damage of that Ajax is that Chris mm -hmm. is going to have to panic recover back to ledge more now. He's probably going to be thinking about two SDs he's caused now. Yeah, good. Uh, both uh, both well, of the times normally that's a very consistent option. That's a nice punish you're going to get there. You know what's funny? I said that's a nice punish, and that was maybe 18%. I, I, I stopped <laughs> making sheep damage jokes a while ago, but, <laughs> but <laughs> the, the fact that it was four hits, and that was like to 14%. That said, it just you have to hope Chris has the mentality of just like, I can't give up even though I'm just getting rocked right now. Oh, for sure. I mean, we saw it in the last game, right? He was yeah. behind, got that nice jump call. Well, that's the second time he's been caught by that. <laughs> Oh, going low again. Oh what? yeah. You know what? That what you, you you were done. He had a full stock up. He followed you all the way down there. If the uh, oh, if he, he decided to the commit PK, the down air, he ate the PK Thunder. So okay. that that Chris wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Even if he didn't get the PK Thunder, uh, Sharp was in a position to downer him. Like yeah. <laughs> just just go ahead and PK Thunder yourself back to the blast zone because no matter what happens, if you do hit Sharp there and Sharp misses a tech, it doesn't matter because PK Thunder two got hit. So the range that Ness is going to go is shorter. And he's never making it to that wall because you body blocked him down there. Yeah. So that, was, that was done no matter what. I just like the attempted style. That's crazy. You, you like Sharp's Sharp's ability to push and push and make you feel uncomfortable. Like advantage state is one thing, but his ability to mix up over and over again is really scary with this character. He really ratcheted up the pressure after that second SD. Like he, mm -hmm. he just didn't let go. <laughs> That's what you need to do, man. Like, like, just, uh, what, what's like one of Ness's main win conditions, right? You got to put out a lot of aerials. They're all safe. Yeah, it's mashing to a lot of people, but you literally just put you put a lot of aerials to force people to stay grounded. That opens up your grounded options a lot easier, so you can get grabs. What does Sheik do to that? Say no. 
because she has a sheik has amazing frame data that nair's really good it gets in on it and it pressures ness so it kind of forces pk chris into this weird spot where he's trying to play right now we're just uh, gonna run it right back to P uh, ps2 yeah i think it's a pretty good idea like uh, it, uh, honestly in this matchup it's like you kind of want the room to work with on both characters because if you're getting pressured, it, especially for Sheik, right? If Sheik's at KO percent to a throw, what do you want? You want room to get away from the attempted throws. If you're on a smaller stage, that makes it a lot easier for Ness to be able to just cover you, catch you with like mistake spot dodges with side B, and it just makes your life a living hell. So I, I like this stage on both because it also gives PK Chris an opportunity to dip when he's getting pressured too. One thing I've noticed so far is that Sharps made it so that PK Chris can barely get anything off of uh, side magic Woohoo! stalls. Oh, watch, watch you jump. All right, I, I really like Sharp's commitment to constantly just go back to ledge. He realizes, like, you know what? Ness is a bit floaty, and I'm gonna give him a lot of opportunities where I'm not gonna snipe out any extra recovery and just go to ledge. Because guarantee, stocks later, he's gonna start swinging. And he's already caught Peter Chris making plenty of mistakes off stage, too. So why not just keep it up? Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, oh my god. Fighting Sheik off stage is is just just a nightmare. But you I, got I give it to Chris. That that uh, that air dodge a second ago opened up that ledge trap. Mm -hmm. We're now back center stage. Sharp taking control. Yeah, and see that th this is scary because you see right here. Now to use that throw KO percent, and actually it's oh. just gonna get back aired. So didn't even need to get the throw. But you saw Sharp was trying to like play on the run and wait for like the one jump mistake out of PK Chris. Oh, just and do it to him. Right back. Just do it to him. What the hell are you doing over there in the corner? Chris is also trying to get some of the landing aerials to space out correctly. Just nothing more than like that so far. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, alright, that, that's kind of funny. You, everyone knows you can't spell smash without mash. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mash, the, the best players in the game are just mashes who get away with it. That, that's just the, the, the end of the nutshell right there. But... I mean, here, this, this that was all smart. Like, PK Chris is trying to find his opening. Just the thing is, like, you can't you can't fight Cheek up close and win in this matchup. F tilt's not going to do anything. Dash attack gets, like, pretty easily checked. So you're trying to find some type of way oh. in. And side, side magnet cancels are gone! Oh. That was so close to a down air. Yeah, and, and I got to tell you, the magic stall actually opened up that entire sequence. He finally got snuck one in there. But still not enough to put away a sharp second stock here. Oh, okay. Air dodge is way in the right direction. Still keeping his stocks nice up at 102. What are we going to do here? What's the answer? Parries away, but not, doesn't get anything out of it. I think it was just one of those kind of, I dropped shield and got a parry versus I was anticipating it. Back throw won't kill or anything, but it does keep you stage position. You better watch your landing. <laughs> You've already dealt with this before. Sharp now has got Chris counting the corner a little bit, but ah. He waited for him to space that down tilt. Oh, good job holding onto his jump, too, because like Sharp was definitely looking for a low recovery jump straight to ledge. That back air is going to take it. I love it when back air just catches the first frame out of iframes from neutral dead up. It's like, oh, I thought I lived. <laughs> I love it, and then I hate it at the same time. So I'm like, man, why can't I get that consistently? Oh, here oh. is the issues. When Sharp gets his combos going, it's going to put you oh. in a spot. That's terrible. Wall bounce off of the, the ledge. Nope, decides to wait, but tries to follow him off stage and misses the tack. We're back to even. And that is when keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sharp was going for the Twitch clip, and... Uh, uh, Chris was like, you're in my way. <laughs> yeah, I was 100% expecting Sharp to actually kind of do a bouncing fish off the wall and then catch him missing. Because then if you bouncing fish off the wall, you still have your jump usage afterwards. But either way, you take that. You better get out of the way of that. Forward smash won't do it yet. That move's not super strong. But good delay. Can he get by this pressure at the ledge, though? Sharp it really threw and then got back up in front of him. And then he's like, oh, okay, I'll throw again. Um, That's a beautiful desktop. It's a beautiful way to end game number three with Sharp. I mean, basically, while we were uh, <laughs> while we were yammering away about what happened to the second stock, Sharp basically dropped off the Angel platform, was like, no, nah, we're at the end of it like that, and just bodied mm -hmm. uh, PJ Chris corner 